So today we are going to continue with our outdoor ukulele theme and look at the soprano version of the tenor that I reviewed a, a week or two ago. This is uh, the same color actually as the other one. They come in different colors. You get green and a kind of a, a clear color and blue and the carbon black and all of that. But this is their uh, brown. It is a uh, standard soprano, 13 and a half inch scale, 13 point, uh, 1.375 inch width. So basically a one and three eighths inch width here. Uh, feels just like a, a your basic soprano. Um, so we're gonna take a look at this. You can see the brace is molded in there. And it has the slots there for the, the strings. I did add this, have them add the strap pins. This is high G, not low G. The tenors will be low G. The um, Grover tuners, which keep it in tune really well. And uh, dots on the top, none on the side, out there ukulele, please, please add side dots. By the way, I looked at this uh, on, just, in fact, I've got the webpage up right here. Um, I think they went up because I paid 105 for this with the strap pins and now it's 105 without the strap pins. Strap pins, two of them are 10 more dollars. So that's in a matter of, I ordered this a couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. So let's take a look at this, just to let you guys know. Um, injection molded from translucent bottle brown. It's a composite polycarbonate. Glass fiber strands give the instrument a natural grain structure and greatly increase strength. Also helps it to be waterproof. And uh, you've got it's safe low temperature minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit high temperature is 250 degrees Fahrenheit and right now probably evens out as far as price because they raised the price 10 bucks but you get free shipping now I had to to pay for the shipping so I think I think they may have increased it a little bit why would you buy this well you would buy this if you backpack what a great backpacking ukulele this would be. If you have a boat, you want to just throw it on the boat, you don't have to worry about it. If it goes in the water, just take it out and keep playing it. Um, peace of mind, I think, is the big deal for me, is when I go to a jam, I take my tenor, throw it in the trunk. It can stay in the trunk all day. It can stay in the trunk for four or five hours until I get there, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, falling apart or the neck warping or the braces coming unglued or or anything like that. You can see here that the um, neck it's a nice neck and it has, a, it has a flat area here just like the tenor. It's a little smaller obviously than the uh, tenor neck but uh, one of the things you'll notice is everything's molded in, the nut, the bridge, the saddle. So there's absolutely no adjustments. This is it. So if you get it and you love the action and the setup, you're great. If you don't, you're going to be in trouble because I don't see really a, any way to easily, easily modify it. But what they've done is they've done a great setup. They have great tuners. They use the priority strings. Um, I think it's a great deal. 
So I would say, so far we've got the uh, tenor version, the soprano, both brown. I have right now in the mail coming to me the carbon black soprano, and I've also ordered the tenor carbon. And why did I do that? Well, it's supposed to be stronger. It's supposed to be brighter. So my main reason really is, okay, you're going to pay more, more dollars, uh, it's 40 or $50 for each one. What I want to see is, is it worth it individually? Are they louder? Is the soprano carbon louder than this? And same for the tenor. Um, and let you know that. So you, you can, and you can listen to them and say, oh, I, I like, maybe this is a little more mellow or um, and you don't like the, the super, super bright uh, uh, sound of the carbon. That's in the mail. I should have that by the end of the week. So I don't think I'm going to do an unboxing video on that. Um, if, you know, you guys are like crazy for another unboxing video down here on YouTube in the comments, say, hey, could you do another unboxing video of the carbon? I'll do it. But it's going to be the same exact thing as this was, except it's going to be a black uke. Um, one of the things when I did the unboxing I commented on is the only thing I've really heard about this, uh, good comments on the ukulele underground forum on the outdoor um, ukuleles. A lot of people own, you know, two or three of them. They really like them and I can see why. I especially, uh, especially think they've done a great job with the setup, putting the instrument together, etc. But the one thing that I'd always heard about this is it's a little quiet. Now, um, now, is it, it, when I took it, when I did the unboxing, and I'll, I'll put the link down here so you can go look, uh, look at it, um, and I initially, just my initial reaction right out of the box literally was, sounds fine to me. So, you know, do I think I could take this to a jam and hear it? Yeah, I don't see why not. Is it quieter than my koaloha? Oh yeah. I mean, I mean you pick up the koaloha next to this and it's like a, a cannon, literally. And but but this is a polycarbonate. This is the koaloha is all solid wood. So I mean, and it's koa. So of course there's going to be a difference. I think we need to be realistic, but you're paying current price uh, with strap pins $115. Base is $105, free shipping three-day shipping for this. In a nice box you can use for a case if you want to, comes with the, the nice strings, etc. So you've got 105 bucks and you've got 740 for the Koaloha. So you, you have to decide, uh, is that something I can afford? Do I like the tone? Or are you gonna be concerned about that? For me personally, would I take that to a jam? Yes, and I have, as I have my concert. But I would not take that this coming Sunday, leave it in the trunk for four or five hours, and then go jam with it in an air-conditioned room. There's no way in the world I'm going to do that. So uh, even with a laminate, I had a friend of mine, I thought about this after I did uh, the review on the tenor. He had a Takamini guitar. It was the all uh, look all maple, but it was a laminate. Acoustic guitar cutaway pickup. Hot day, Southern California, stuck it in his trunk, and I'm sure thinking, it's a laminate. Took it out, the neck was completely bowed, wasted the whole guitar, I had to throw it in the trash. So just because it's a laminate does not mean that it's not subject to high or low temperature. Thus the advantage of something like this. So.
think this might be, uh, as far as the soprano goes, this would be the standard size. Some of my sopranos are a little longer. They have a longer scale, 13 and 3 quarters, a little wider neck. This might be difficult for some people to play just because it's so small. So that's going to be obviously your call, then go to the tenor. Tenor's really, really nice. Looking forward to the carbon that's being built right now. So I had them up to do the low G and add the strap pans and all that stuff. So I'm hoping the Soprano will be here in a day or two. That one, the carbon, will be uh, actually in the mail. So, um, anyway, outdoor soprano, ukulele, polycarbonate. Uh, I love the fact that they put the Grover tuners on it. I hate the fact there's no side dots. I'll be adding those. I've already got them. I just haven't, uh, haven't had a chance to put them on yet. So next week, unless I get like radical, you know, please unbox the Soprano or whatever. Next week, I'll be doing the review on the Carbon Soprano. Until then, keep playing.